Hello everybody, this is Dreamgamer back to conclude the last 32 round. So we have four more matches to go before we know our last 16 lineup. So let's have a look at them, shall we? So up first we have got Team Argentina going up against Morsla. Then we have Uru going up against Team Allo. Up third we have got Storm taking a crack at Man. And to conclude the last 32 round, we have got the 100 is Black Beauty going up against the Mad Lad. Right, let's get on with our first matchup, shall we? Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Team Argentina, we've got Matosaurus. Team Argentina having a strong debut so far. Although I will say they had a very nutty performance against Kaz in the la last round of Group C to get here. Right, in the blue corner for Morsela, we have got the Gondwana Titan. Morsela claiming a main event victory against Dino fans to earn their place in the last 32 round. <clears throat> and they do have the type advantage over that Matosaurus. Although the Joboria did too, and that didn't help. <laughs> in that particular matchup though, I will say Team Argentina definitely had way more hits than Kaz did. The hits were evened out. Kaz probably would have won that match. But anyway, that's done now. Oh, that's not a good start for Team Argentina, but just the start you want. If you're Morsela, that's an Aqua Whip, and this is going to do big damage. Oh, look at that! Just do not underestimate this little fella. He may be a little sauropod, but he's got a big heart. Okay, but Matosaurus responds with a Magma Blast. A good response from Team Argentina. Both our guys getting big crits early on. And actually, a respectable amount of damage, to be fair. It's a tie. Team Argentina yet again handling the type disadvantage very well. But not well enough this time because it is Morsa going in the lead. Last year, Morsla failed to get out the group stage. The year before, they did get out the group, and they did fall at the last 32 round, I believe. Here's hoping that they do better this time. Anyway, coming in next for Team Argentina, we've got Carnotaurus. Now, this isn't too bad for Team Argentina. The, ju the, ju the, the Gondwana Titan did take a beat in. So they're not too far behind, but what they can't afford to let happen is more up to continue to get hits and to pull away. Oh, look at it. It's so tiny. I love, I love this thing so much. <laughs> I just wish it was a better dinosaur. But, you know, that's kind of what it is. It's an underdog. It's a little sauropod with the big heart. But unfortunately, it is going down here. So, yeah, after everything said and done, we are all square. And I think if you're Team Argentina, you kind of take that. Right, coming in next for Morsla, we've got Allosaurus, and this Allosaurus has been really solid. I mean, the Allosauruses in this tournament have been really good. Whether it's this one, or whether it's the entirety of Team Allo. <laughs> been some really impressive Allosauruses in this tournament. Oh, but that's not good. But the Dino stuff is going to put a stop to that crypt. Good Dino stuff of a Morsla. That would have gave Team Argentina a big lead. And instead, it is Allosaurus getting a crit, a ninja attack. Talk about a 180 in momentum. Team Argentina stifled from getting a crit, and Morsla landing a crit straight after. The tie bomb coming in as well. Although Allosaurus's crit doesn't hit as hard as Carnotaurus's. And it does trigger the Hurricane Beat. And that Hurricane Beat will do a lot of damage if Team Argentina get it off. But we don't know what they're going to get off at the minute because the RNG playing up. Well, okay, that's a six, so he's going for it. I'm getting it! Well, it's one crit apiece, but I'm pretty certain in saying that this Carnotaurus's crit is going to hit much, much harder. And a tie bomb to come in as well. Both our guys got tie bombs. 
but I think Allosaurus is probably better adapted to Tide. Look at that! Massive hit from Team Argentina. Okay, that's a tie. The Allosaurus will go down, but the tie bombs will chip away at Carnotaurus' HP. Team Argentina taking the lead. As we go into the final stretch. Right, coming in third for Morsla, we have got a Pachycephalosaurus. Well, this Pachycephalosaurus has been a solid addition for Morsla. Can it, can it get them this win? Well, first things first, do not get hit by a crit again. Oh, they do get hit. The tie bomb's gonna come in. Morza can't afford to take too many of those hits. He needs to kill this Carnotaurus ASAPs. And that's a tie. Well, the tie attack is gonna do damage, but the tie bomb's gonna do damage as well. Okay, that tie should do it. Not ideal for Morza, but the Carnotaurus does go down. But the Pachycephalosaurus definitely took some damage. Right, coming in food for Team Argentina, we have got Assault the Saurus. Can Team Argentina get this done? Can they get this win? Well, Assault the Saurus certainly delivered for them in, against Kaz. Will it deliver again? Oh, that's a tie. Oh, here comes Ocean Panic. This could do it. With the shockwave removal effect as well. This could be it for Team Argentina. Is this the end for Morsla? Oh, I think that's going to be... Okay, I... The Pachycephalosaurus might just survive, but we're going to find out. Oh, it doesn't even get the hit. Team Argentina gets the hit. Oh, almost, almost survived, but it wasn't going to go into. And it is Team Argentina going through to the last 16 round. The big moments favouring them again. Right then, on to our next match. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Ur, we have got the Blitz type Spinosaurus now. There is an interesting stipulation here between these two because both of our guys do have blitz types in first so what I'm gonna do is generate the moves now so they get a chance at a blitz hit but the blitz rule won't apply here because well it'd be completely unfair on team Allo that because Ur would just get two crits and basically kill this thing so it'd be very unfair so be because we both have blitz, they both have blitz types, I'm going to generate the moves now and see what happens. Okay, so Team Allo will get the first hit. And then, the, and then I'll do it again. So let's have a look. Four and a two. So yeah, Team Allo is going to get the first two hits. Right, and now we'll generate like normal. So yeah, that's a very good start for Team Allo. Oh, but uh, responding with a big shot of their own. And that's going to be a crept. Yeah, never really considered what to do with when there's like two blitz types coming in at the beginning. But yeah, I think that's a fair solution. Otherwise, Ur uh, would get two free crets and basically get a free kill, which is completely unfair on Team Allo. At least if I generate the moves on 10 randomly. Both our guys will still get a chance at that blitz hit. But anyway, back to the match now. And that's another hit from Ur. Another light recovery coming in. Been a very even start so far. Both our guys landed some good, good shots. And it is... Oh no, it's not Ur going into the lead. The Papasaurus is going to come in with the tag team. Tag team getting a growing reputation in this tournament. Oh, well, it's not going to change the fact that Ur is going to go 1 0 up. Right, coming in next for Team Allo, we have got Allosaurus Atrox.
Now, many of you guys have suggested that for the for Lucky 7 types, like Allosaurus Atrox, I should try to hit the button on 7 so it gets the uh, le Lucky 7 buff. So I am going to try and do that. But rest assured, next year that will definitely be a permanent thing. Oh wait, did I get it? I hit it on 7. Well, it don't matter because it's a power drain and it's going to kill the Spino anyway. Okie dokie, coming in next for... Ooh, we've got a Rhinoceratops with terrain advantage. It's going to get the next hit in this match. It's going to be a paper hit. Sugoi! Right, first things first. Boosh. Okay, not too much damage done there. And that does trigger the hurricane beat. Ooh, and the Aloe Atrox is going to get that hurricane beat. This is going to be a massive hit from our team Aloe. Badoosh. Okay, Half health, that's pretty respectable. I mean, Team Aloe's power is all in the crypt, so... I don't expect his other two moves to do too much damage, but yeah, pretty impressive. And well, that Hurricane Beat's been triggered yet again. But it is Team Aloe getting the crypt. Another power drain. I think it did get the Lucky 7 buff there. Well, it should have, because I hit it on 7. And look at that! Sucking the life out of a Rhinoceratops. And is that going to suck the life out of Ooh's chances of winning this match? Well, I wouldn't put this in the books yet, because coming in food for Ooh, we've got Armatus with the Spectral Armor. It's got the Earth Barrier, it's got the Light Recovery. Ooh can easily come back and win this match. This match is far from done. But they do need to get rid of this Aloe Atrox pretty quickly. Right, that's a three. Oh, that's another power drain. This is going to do even more damage. Team Allo well on top now. And things looking really good for them. Oh, jeez, look at that. Suck the life out of that Armatus. Well, Ur needs a big hit and needs one quick. Okay, and gets one. A crit, a light recovery to come. An Earth Barrier would be very welcome. Fills up the Spectral Armor as well. Okay, no uh, Earth Barrier there. Three. Okay, well, I'm not going to bother hitting it on seven because the Allosaurus Atrox is going to go down here. Well, the two before I dive is making sure of it. Right then, coming in third for Team Allo, we've got Alpha Allosaurus. Can this Alpha Allo get the win for Team Allo? Armatus starting to get some hits. Ooh, getting some hits again. Um, this thing does have Dino Stuffer, so that's something to take into account. Especially if we do see Spectral Armor in this match. So two. Okay, there's a hit. That's a crit. That's a Venom Fang. Good shot from Team Allo. And the poison from this Venom Fang is going to do that. Chip away, chip away at Armatus' HP. Oh no, you're poisoned. That's also going to nullify the Earth Barrier. Well, unless Armatus gets this hit here. Oh, that's a tie. Look at that. Armatus on the brink. Ooh, on the brink. Can they get this hit? Oh, they can't. And it is Team Allo's victory. Team Allo doing it again. And in the Jurassic Clash of Stegosaur v Allosaur, it is the Allosaur that comes out on top this time. And Team Allo march on to the last 16 round. And as for Ooh, unfortunate, but yeah, they got further than they did last year. So they'll take that as a positive. Right then, match number three. 
Oh, okay, we're in the Alpha Arena. Okie dokie. In the red corner, representing Storm, we have got Super Rajasaurus, Awaken Mode on 3. Storm enjoying a very good tournament so far. They did have a bit of a sluggish start, but they have really rallied back. And they're coming into this off the back of three straight victories as well. Will it be four in a row for them? It'll be tough because in the blue corner, representing Mahan, we've got Sir Faganus. Mahan also having a strong tournament, finishing second in Group E. And in particular, the last couple of matches where they really have stamped their authority on, ma on games, with, particularly with the Taurosaurus. Storm will definitely have to be wary of that thing. Oh. <laughs> okay, there's a good start from Storm getting the first shot of the match. I mean, can't really call that too big of a shot, though. Oh, there's another hit from Storm. Ooh, but that's a big kamikaze tackle. And in fact, that is going to cause Storm a problem because I do believe the tag team is in effect. Oh, hang on. Deathfire has been triggered. And to my knowledge, Deathfire does go through tag team. I don't know why that's the case, but it, that is the case. Oh, but Mark gets the hit. No Deathfire, no Awakened hit for Storm. Big moment early on for Man, And they keep the tag team in effect as well. So the next time they get hit, tag team is going to activate. And it's going to activate now. And that's a good tag team. That's going to stop that crit. Tag team seen a lot of action in this tournament. Especially compared to recent years where it's been non-existent. But this year, I think Man has it. I know Master Shun has it, and I think Team Allo has it as well. Oh, look at that. Man going in front. Two big moments there in that encounter. The tag team to stop Rajasaurus getting the crit. And, obviously, the uh, the hit to stop the uh, Rajasaurus getting off a death fire. I will say, that has been an issue for Storm, getting the Death Fire triggered and the Awaken Mode active at the same time, which is not ideal if you're Storm. You'd rather have the Death Fire and the Awaken Mode activate at different times. But anyway, coming in next for Storm, we've got Super Carnotaurus, Awaken Mode on 3. Let's see if he has any better luck with this guy. Okay, that's a tie. Ooh, dancing dangerously here, Storm, going for that paper risking themselves to a kamikaze tackle and they're going for it again Ooh, and that's a tie getting away with it Ooh, but the man does get the next hit on the board right that's twice that does trigger the hurricane beat oh that's the danger that's the danger of going for paper you leave yourself vulnerable to that kamikaze tackle and he killed it big moment from man big shot and you have to say man has definitely got the big hits in this match and they go 2-0 up right coming in third for storm we've got maximus and well storm was asking for it really keep they kept going for the paper they were asking to get hit by that kamikaze tackle, and that time, Man delivered. But we won't count Storm out yet. They got the spectral armor. We've seen it before. Armored dinosaurs can swing a match 180. And well, there's a hit, and there's the end of Sorofagonax. Right, here comes what has been the MVP for Man in recent matches. The Taurosaurus, the Bull. The mean green ball. And actually, I'm working on this guy for uh, Evolution 2 as well. And yes, I am still modding for Evolution 2, just because I haven't posted for two years. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm not working. And actually, expect some uh, shorts on the shorts channel soon as well. Since I've done quite a bit of updating on some of the mods. So do look forward to that. Oh, there we go. There's a hit. An attack boost going to activate. Well, a stomping hammer here and this match is over. 
and Storm knows that he really doesn't want to get hit by a crit. But the Taurosaurus is getting hit, maxing up our attack power. This is not good for Storm. They are really in trouble now. I think any hit could end this match. And there's another one with the attack boost maxed up. Look at that electric charge as well. That is well in Man's hands now. Storm in big, big trouble. And that I'll do it. It is Man's victory. Those big moments go in Man's way. And in the end, it was just too much for Storm to come back to. And Man goes through to the last 16 round. Oh, that's kind of a shame for Storm. You know, because they had the three straight wins to get this far and then they lose the first knockout match. But oh well, it is what it is, unfortunately. Where there's a winner, there's a loser. Right then, on to our final match of this session and the final match of the last 32 round. Ooh, things are going to get fiery. Right, in the right corner for Black Beauty, we got Super Eel Karkaria, Wait the Mode on 3. And, well, it's got Terrain Advantage, so it's going to get the first hit as well. But, Lad also gets Terrain Advantage in this match, courtesy of the Kark. So the Terrain Advantage won't be Black Beauty to look. Right, in the blue corner for the Mad Lad, we have got Eucentrosaurus and Lad having a much better tournament than they did last year. I think last year they finished bottom and they were very, <laughs> they were very salty about it. <laughs> but things going much better this year. But, you would, I would admit that they are definite underdogs in this match. But, can they pull off an upset? Right, first things first. Get that terrain hit out of the way. Hit once. Ooh, that's another hit from Black Beauty. It's a power drain. Shuckies. Big shot from Black Beauty and a big start as well. Oh, hang on. What's this? It's the Flare Sword. This might be lethal for the Eucentrosaurus. Oh, almost, almost. Okay, that's twice. But this is not a good start for Lad, but very good if you're Black Beauty. Okay, that's a tie. Well, the Eucentrosaurus at least landed some damage. Um, okay, coming in next for Lad, we've got Polar Canthus. Well, the danger here is if Black Beauty gets the awakened hit with this Eel Carcaria, that's going to extend her lead quite significantly. So Lad has to avoid that or conveniently get the next hit here, get an Earth Barrier on the board, limit the damage from that possible Awakened hit. I mean, there's no guarantee Black Beauty will get it, but you know, got to prepare, haven't you? Oh, there's a crit. That's a good shot from Lad. An Earth Barrier here would be most beneficial. Badoosh. Let's have a look. Oh, they didn't get the Earth Barrier. Okay, can they at least stop the Awakened Hit? Oh, they can't. Disaster for Lad. It's a hit from Black Beauty. And it's going to be a massive one as well. Oh, wow. That was a big shot. Oh, it might actually one-shot him. The Flare Sword's going to come in. That's going to all but finish off Polar Canvas. And it is 2-0 to Black Beauty. Well, it won't stay 2-0 because coming in third for Lab, we got Kakiridontosaurus. It's going to get the next hit because it does have terrain advantage. And the Eocark already used its terrain advantage. And that hit will be a crit. So I think the e Eocark area is going to go down. But I do fear for Lab that the damage might have been done already. Um, I will say that Brachyceratops comes in next with a chance of getting two Blitz crits. And if Lad can survive that, they might get back in this. And Ace Dinotector comes in third with type disadvantage against that card. I mean, I don't want to give Lad too much encouragement here because they are still in a perilous situation. But I wouldn't count them out just yet. Anyway, coming in second for Black, Black Beauty, we've got Brachyceratops. It's Blitz type. It's going to go for the two Blitz crits. It's got the Plasma Anger. This, thing, this little terror has been really effective for Black Beauty in this tournament. Dare I say it, maybe more effective than the Eel Car. 
Right, first blitz hit. Okay, that's a tie, but remember, the thing got plasma around. Okay, well, I'll give Lad the hit there because I generated it. I forgot to do the blitz hit. But I got it done there, and Lad gets the hit. So, uh, all's well and out. But Lad does survive those two blitz crits. Oh, not going to survive that one, though. And Anyon Gear would dive as well. But remember, elemental power is maxed up on this thing, so that crit is practically nullified. Ooh, Lad could have got a big crit there, which would have got him right back in this match. Oh, Lad, what are you doing? Go for the crit, man. He's, he's wide open. Oh, it's over! What was Lad doing? Why didn't he go for the crit? That would have got him back into this contest, but instead it's Black Beauty getting the win. And yeah, no surprise there. I, I genuinely felt Black Beauty was going to win this match comfortably. Right, that's it for the last 32 round. So we can have a look at the brackets and we can end the session. Well, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. We have got our last 16 ma round matches confirmed so down here we're gonna see team argentina taking on team allo that'll be fun and then it will be man going up against black beauty and yeah commiserations to everyone who went out at the last 32 round let's have a look how many newcomers actually survived so we got well one newcomer was always going to get through there we got uh, all these guys all these newcomers down here survived so six newcomers and the rest of you guys have entered before. So yeah, newcomers doing well in this tournament. And well, at least two of you guys, at the very least, are gonna make the quarterfinals. But we'll save that for another time. Until then, ta-ta.